Welcome back to the small stuff. Welcome to the small stuff. Welcome to the small stuff. Welcome back. This is part two of the four part series related to overcoming learner discomfort. But before we get into that, notice something here. Visually, without me even saying anything, I think you would have been able to work out that this is part two of four things to do with this topic. It's simply a visual, a graphic way to provide information to our learners. So let's get into it. One of the common things with tasks that we issue students is they encounter the first one and it just triggers off alarm bells, anxiety, discomfort. The problem is perhaps number two or number three or step four or five of a project or a task is much more accessible for students, but they may never get to it if they get stuck on number one and if they get derailed at number one. So the second strategy for overcoming learner discomfort is to provide opportunities for our learners and encourage them to avoid going in straight lines. When it comes to an assessment item or a task, encourage them first thing Scan each question and then identify those that they believe are more achievable and then focus in, get those done. That then creates uh, the confidence to proceed. And that's exactly what we're after here in terms of overcoming learner discomfort. So avoiding straight lines. It's okay if we don't start at number one and go to number two and number three. Sometimes we just need to make it explicit to our students that it's okay to do that. Try it out. <laughs>